All right, everybody. Here I am. I am actually one wheeling. Oops. Let me just balance myself here. So right now I am in the middle of nowhere. As you can see behind me, around me. Look at this, nobody's here behind me. And this is all dirt road. And uh, just here, uh, one wheeling by myself, just, you know, exploring nature and see how this is, how the Pine X will hold. So far, it's pretty good. I mean, I can pretty much, you know, one wheel off road here, um, no problem. And this is not a review, of course, uh, but you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, sharing my experience with uh, with the one wheel Pine X. I uh, recently got this one, probably about uh, a month ago, and so far it's been holding up pretty well. Um, I also have the regular pint as well, and that one could go up to eight to I think it's six to eight miles. Um, but so far with that, I was able to get like nine, nine miles with that particular one, uh, you know, with the flat surface, of course. I haven't done any off-roading with that, but um, maybe I, I did brought it today uh, with me. So hopefully I could uh, test that as well. But this is it. This is the Pine X and uh, we're here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let me know if you have, uh, of course, if you have a, a one wheel, um, you know, and... and I know you could find so many um, unboxing videos and, and reviews, but this I'm just sharing my experience, of course, you know, with what I have and, and uh, what it's done for me so far. But so far, you know, I don't have to walk this dirt road with my Nike shoes. <laughs> so it's great. And look at look at look at the sun behind me, of course. There's a little bit of a fog and uh, there's actually a trail here. Uh, it looks like it says Trail 7, but I don't know if I'm going to go there um, because it looks a bit sketchy. I'm going to try, you know, to stay on the path. But you, as you can see, there's another trail right here. Um, I think this is mostly for like hikers, though. But yeah, with that, that's a bit steep, of course. Um, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna just get off here and just enjoy the scenery. Um, you know, it's pretty nice. So um, oh, the helmet, of course, as well. The helmet. This is also from uh, Future Motion One Wheel. Um, and then uh, the um, if you're wondering about the lights, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if you could see the light right there. Uh, this is actually has like a hand motion. If I kind of activate it, I don't know if you if you're able to see that right now because um, it's you know daylight out. Um, but so far, uh, you know, this one is pretty cool. I, you know, I, I go riding at night and uh, let me just turn this around. But I mean, so far, the weather is kind of nice today. This is just a little, you know, this is just like a little vlog for me, you know. Um, there's actually a little lake here. Um, I could show you. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I wanted to kind of tell you where I am. So I am in, uh, what is this called? This is the Prado. Prado Regional Park or something like that. Now it, it costs it costs money to come in. I actually paid about uh, ten dollars to get in here, uh, but you know, it's just a nice outing with my one wheel. Um, so there's actually like horse crap too. Uh, I guess there's a lot of horse coming in here. So as you can see, you can see like a little bit of people now and cars and so on. This is just a little trail. Here you go, right there. That's the cat, uh, a horse horse crap um so yeah that's me right here just one wheeling that there is a steep um side over there but i don't know if i'm gonna go back yet though because it looks like i i want to explore this area more maybe let me, I, let me just i'm gonna check actually how uh, you know how much I have uh, when it comes to my range. So this one actually, uh, the range for this specific one is um, it could go up to 12 to 18 miles. That's the new one right now. Um, but I haven't really tested it. I know with my um, original pint, um, I have tested it, um, and you know as I mentioned earlier, it that one, you know the range for that it, it takes me about like nine miles, you know, in one charge, which is pretty good. I've taken it to so many places already 
Uh, that one has over, I would say about 250 miles. This one only, barely, barely reached five miles right now. So this is pretty new. Uh, this is the lake right here, uh, Prado, uh, Prado Lake. And um, yeah, so far, I mean, you could actually hear the stream of water. There's a little bit of a concrete here in this in this side of side of the park. Uh, there are glass, a broken glass. So you know, I just need to kind of watch out for that. But so far, you know, I don't know if you can hear the stream. I'm gonna be quiet here for a little bit. But yeah, there's a little bit of a stream in the background, um, which is pretty nice, calming. I don't know if you, you know, if you if you guys been here, but uh, this is my first time here at Prado. Uh, Prado Regional Park so so far I mean it's good there's also another trail here but it looks kind of sketch so I definitely don't want to go in that so I mean I could try maybe maybe that's maybe that one is like maybe this one is kind of difficult to balance I mean so far it's okay here's the road here's the dirt road here oh my god it is kind of difficult to balance because it's not even right now. I mean, right now with my one wheel, I actually put it on, um, I believe it's it's called Pacific mode. So there's different type of modes with this uh, uh, one wheel, of course. I believe there's like Redwood. That one is like for, ooh, okay, hold on. Uh, that one is mostly for like, ooh, right now this is kind of sandy. Ooh, hold on. Okay, okay, so... Uh, okay, so let me talk about the modes. So Redwood is mostly for like beginners. So if you mo or if you're mostly like, you know, just starting out with uh, one wheel and you're just riding um, for fun or you know uh, it's it's your first time, I highly highly recommend um, you know using the the, the Redwood. Uh, oh my God, hold on, uh, the Redwood mode. Uh, that one it doesn't go as fast though. Uh, you can't go up to the maximum speed. Uh, the maximum speed for that one, I believe, you can only go up to like 12 miles per hour, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, of course, with the rest of the mode, with the uh, uh, with one wheel, you could go up to like 18 miles. With the Pine X, of course, uh, you could go up to 18 miles per hour. Um, I haven't tested that yet, but hopefully, you know, if I'm on, if I'm on like a uh, what do you call that like a, a concrete road then i could i could test up to like 18 miles an hour but right now we're off-roading and uh just wanted to kind of check out how this actually you know performs right um but so far it's good uh performance wise uh there's definitely a lot of power and there's a lot more um what do you call that there's a lot more uh, range for this so i'm you know i don't have range in in uh anxiety when it comes to the pine x with the pine though yes i do have um range anxiety sometimes uh you know just because it's uh you know it only it only got so six to six to uh six ten miles i believe or six six uh six to six to nine miles i, I would say six to nine miles uh, because i've used it at you know at not nine miles but so far this is good look at this the road got better uh, it's it's uh so much uh, flatter now and uh wow all right maybe it's time for me to kind of go back i haven't checked the range for uh for for this one yet i haven't checked it so i don't i hope i have more range um you know so that i can go back to my car um but right now i'm just enjoying this i'm enjoying the dirt i'm enjoying the environment i'm enjoying you know a little bit of uh, uh nature sometimes you can hardly see nature you know nature stuff right so i think i was here earlier uh, i don't want to go there i don't know where it leads but i think i'm gonna go back and just uh you know see what what range i have but um you know it is getting a little colder it's winter time now in uh california almost winter time in california so it's about like 62 degrees right now which is pretty nice uh, i have my little um you know a jacket on um it's not as cold but it's it's definitely nice out you know to to um to ride one wheel but um if you know if, if you do have one wheel um and, and and if you live in like southern california or or perhaps you know in the inland empire um you know hit me up and maybe we can um you know ride together or whatever uh it's definitely fun um you know my wife and i actually goes in you know at night just to like you know 
uh, right around the, the neighborhood. Oh, it, it's, it's getting a little rough right now. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, this is not a review. This is, you know, I'm just sharing my, uh, uh, my experience with, with One Wheel Pine X. And hopefully you can see me because, uh, you know, I, I, I can't really see my face right now because I'm using the back, uh, the back of the camera of my, of my phone. And hopefully the audio as well is good. Um, oh my God, this is so nice. You know, you can see like a little bit of the yellow coloring of uh, the leaves, you know. So, here it is right here. Let's take a photo of that. Take a photo of this one wheel. There you go. That's gonna be my, uh, that's gonna be my thumbnail. But yeah, I mean, so far, it was good. Let me go a little bit faster here. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh, I'm definitely hitting like 18 miles an hour right now. Oh! All right, all right. Enough fun here. Because, uh, woo -hoo! you know, I don't want to injure myself. Uh, yeah, you could definitely injure yourself with, uh, with the one wheel. Uh, you know, if you're not riding carefully and uh, if you don't, you know, always have your helmet on all the time when you're riding one wheel highly highly recommend i know i uh i crashed once scraped my uh scraped my uh, I, I think it's my right hand or my left hand i believe and then uh and then i hit my head actually on the on the concrete and uh good thing i have my helmet there's actually like a big scratch in the back of my um my helmet uh, because of that uh, because of that fall but uh right now i'm gonna go back this is uh this is the original this is the original um, trail that I was I was on. But yeah, it's a lot of uh, you know ducks. There's a lot of people fishing and so on, which is really really nice. See, there's some people down there. Um, now it's the concrete. All right. Yeah, this one right here is actually really steep for the one wheel. So I will definitely not to attempt uh, to go there, but I think I'm just gonna go around here. Uh, I don't know if you can see my background. That is the lake uh, here at uh, Prado uh, Regional Park. Uh, yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go all the way around here because this one is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely smoother compared to the uh the one over there that one was not friendly that one i would say uh, that one was not one wheel friendly <laughs> but yeah as, as you can see this is a very very steep uh very very steep climb and the one wheel can perform like pretty good even though if it's like rocky i don't want to fall here but there is like a there is uh, what do you call that um there's a mode for you know if you are going through high elevation uh, or or steep um if it's too steep then you can change the mode to that but you have to stop you actually have to stop the one wheel to change the mode i i wish one wheel um could change that in the you know software update later or something like that you know you could just you know i i, I wish they could i could just change it right now um without me stopping basically that would be that would be nice uh, but right now, I don't think they have that feature. Hopefully that it's coming soon. You know, one wheel, if you are, um, listening to this or future motion, if you're listening to this, that's the, that's the company name. Um, you know, maybe you could change that a little bit, you know, I, I should be able to change my, my mode while I'm riding, but yeah, this is Prado Regional Park and we're still on a dirt road right now. As you can see it's pretty it's definitely it's definitely definitely not stable though um i think there's like a you know bathroom right there or some sort of office um that you could kind of check out there is a lot of people here that's doing some sort of like rv or camping or whatever um this one closes at like five but they do open pretty early i believe like around 8 a.m or 7 a.m which is kind of cool um, there it is, dirt, more dirt road. As you can see, there's more like, uh, 
RV camping. Um, I parked near the entrance, so hopefully I have enough range to like go back there. Um, but I'm gonna explore the back a little bit because it didn't look like I, you know, one wheel notified me yet uh, for uh, that I have 50%. So you know, you can actually set that in the um, uh, in, in in the in the settings that you know you can one wheel will notify you uh, when you're at 50 percent right now this is uh this is a little bit of a rough concrete um so i'm gonna be very very careful here actually as you can see this one is the some sort of like a meeting room So that's part of the park over there. Uh, there's more dog park on the other side, actually. And then um, there's like there's a shooting range or whatever. There's bathrooms over here. This one is like so smooth. So I can actually go like 18 miles an hour here, which is pretty nice. You're probably hearing me, but uh, you'll probably hear all the wind. So this is it. This is the uh, this is the park. It's actually like a full hookup um, RV parking. So they have like electricity, they have like a dump station, which is nice. All right, so I think I'm gonna head back now. Hopefully I don't have, I, I still have a lot of juice left in my one wheel. But yeah, let me know what you think so far uh, with this vlog. Uh, well, you know, like sharing my experience with the one wheel. It's not really a vlog, this is just like a random video that I want to kind of share with you. Um, but yeah, so far, you know, this part is good. I'll definitely come back to ride more. Um, or I could just ride, you know, in the neighborhood too. That's what I do. But, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, because I'm going to ride pretty hard here with the... Uh, I'm going to go pretty fast. And I don't think I would want my phone to be out if I do want to ride fast. Uh, but, yeah. So, you know, if you have any questions about one wheel, uh, just, you know, hit put it in the comment below. And then uh, I can definitely answer it. Um, and then... Um, this is not sponsored, of course, by, by Future Motion, but, um, you know, if if you have any questions, just let me know, and then I, I, could, I could help you answer it, and probably help you decide on uh, purchasing uh, a one-wheel. So, alright, sounds good. So I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Uh, thank you.